and that is why you should always wear a full face helmet. What's up everybody? So that was the craziest experience I think I've ever had on a motorcycle. I sent that video to so many different people that have been riding their entire life and they still just could not believe what happened. They've never seen anything like it. So I just kind of wanted to put this video together and share with you guys my experience what happened, what went through my head, how I stayed calm, how I handled the situation, um, and just give you guys some insight and show you, obviously, why it's so important to wear a full face helmet. So let's kind of get into what happened. So I was heading down the interstate, I was hanging out in the HOV lane, I was in the right hand portion of my lane, so I had a clear line of sight as to what was going on. I saw that there was a full size tire in the lane to the right of me. And then at that pretty much same instance, I was able to see that there was a piece of that tire in my lane and the right hand portion of my lane right where I was riding. So naturally I tried to correct and move over to the center slash left portion of my lane to avoid the object and almost at that exact same time in the video you can see the car not saying they did it on purpose but the car clearly swerves over to the right they directly hit the debris it comes right off of their rear right tire and I tried to calculate the frame rate how many seconds went by and from my calculation I had less than a second a third of a second from the time that the tire originally came off the back of the car and hit me I only had a third of a second to react so everything happened just so fast I wasn't really shook up about it and it didn't hurt at all it was more of a split second of WTF did that actually just happen and then you have to kind of get back to business I wasn't super concerned with my visor at that point I wasn't worried about anything else other than just stopping the bike and making sure that I was able to take care of myself after what had just happened that was my first priority so as you can see I slow the bike down I pull over into the median I turn my hazards on and I kind of turn around and I look for my visor that thing was long gone. It was like floating with traffic. It was pretty much rush hour, just before rush hour. So there's a bunch of cars out there. It got dusted in the interstate. So I didn't get my visor. I had to go get some cheap sunglasses from the gas station just to make it back home. But I also wanna highlight, as you guys see, I pull over, there was a truck directly behind me. So if I wasn't wearing a helmet, if I only had a half lid on or nothing at all, just a pair of sunglasses, one, I could have lost my face. Two, it could have knocked me out. I could have fell off the bike. Who knows what could have happened? It would have been the worst scenario ever. So what it really comes down to is, are you protecting yourself in the most ways possible? Because in my eyes, I was doing everything I could possibly do to put myself in the best position to be safe, but yet something still happened outside of my control. So you never really, really know for sure if everything is gonna be okay. So that's where the gear comes in. That's where it's important you can't skip out on wearing all the gear. But anyways, I think that's really all that happened. After that, I just rode home. Unfortunately, my helmet is broken. The visor's long gone. But I do wanna give a big shout out to the guys at Revzilla and Cycle Gear. They saw my video online and they offered to replace my helmet and visor 100% free of charge. So I really appreciate that gesture. They got me back out on the road and riding. The helmet should be here within the next week. So super stoked on that. I also got a lot of other opportunities from this. You could say it kind of went viral. Um, obviously that's not what I was aiming for, but you take it as what it is and you move forward. So I'm glad that whole situation happened to me, somebody that was prepared and able to handle the situation as it was instead of somebody else that it could have ended worse. So, alrighty guys, well that's gonna about do it. I don't really have much else to say about the subject. It's been super funny to see everybody's reaction online. I saw one guy thought it was a turtle that hit me. A bunch of other people thought it was a bird. So it's been super funny to kind of go viral for like the first time but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and how my experience went with the whole situation to try to help you guys and just highlight that wearing a helmet could save your life even if you don't get in a wreck. So take it with a grain of salt, wear your helmet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.